All right, folks, I'm on my way to yet another new trail I've never been to before. I'm pretty excited about this area because I know the topo topography is going to be really good. And um, it's just right outside the city, but it's right along the edge of the river, and it's got bluffs. It is open. It has been open for a few days now. And uh, what I want to do is I want to do a review for the bike again. Um, doing the trail riding and I just wanted to express my enthusiasm right now for the new bike. Uh, what you're seeing right now is downtown Minneapolis. Uh, I'm going through downtown Minneapolis by the, and of course, you know, it's rush hour right now, but yeah, you know, I don't care. I got the whole day free, so no big deal. So I am about ready here. I have to get my shoes on. Hello. I also need to lock up the car, but I'm at Battle Creek. You can see ahead of me here is the um, trailhead, but I have absolutely no idea where to go because it's not really marked. And though with hill climbs, it's like I'm going to be walking a bike up to save energy. Is there a shell service here? Uh, I'm going to do a review for the pivot. Uh, this is my trail review. I have um, 80, a little over 80 psi on the front fork. I just aired up to 155 in the rear matched with 155 millimeters of travel, haha. Ha. And the tires are at about 30 PSI. And as you can see, the trees are budding. The grass is getting green. And, oh, you can see it right here, look at this. The trees are budding. Nice. Well, what I wanted to do is I wanted to do a review for the pivot now that I'm finally on some real trail and get some ideas and thoughts across what I think about the bike and that is an epic downhill right there. Um, I'm really not sure what's going on here. I see treads so I think I'm in the right spot. Uh, I parked over there but uh, I just want to get a feel for it. Uh, yesterday I went to Bertram Lake which is uh, up in Monticello and I got some dirt I got some dirt in the tires and I have to say I feel so different riding this bike from my specialized enduro and my specialized camber that I had uh, about a year ago and I'm really liking it I feel like this bike is more responsive I don't know if it's a geometry I'm not a geometry freak I feel like the geometry is really Push it. I feel like this bike is responsive and playful and just tons of fun to ride. I am so glad I got this bike. Um, it's kind of a dream machine for me. Uh, I'm probably going to keep it for a few years. I don't think I'm going to upgrade quite yet. But uh, yeah, it is just. I was going over. I did a rock garden yesterday. I did couple of little jumps for the first time yesterday. Hopefully I did a little more of that today. And uh, got in some tight turns in this other place. Whoa! Some fun stuff here. And I just feel like this bike is a nimble climbing machine as well as a downhill rocket. Which is going to make me smile all year long. I uh, absolutely love the suspension. Fox has really dialed it in for sure. Sorry, folks, I had to recombobulate. I have no idea what to expect here. I'm going down a really rough downhill. Oh, it is epic! Oh, oh my bike is just eating it up. Love it. All right. So now I still have no clue where I am at. No bike. No walkers, single track is right there. It takes a bit of understanding to know where you're going in this craziness. But I'm thinking, I'm thinking I'm going the right way. I really don't know. 
I'm probably going to stop it until I get to some better understanding of these trails. Um, they're scattered. It's like I'm... It's like my first trip back to... Holy crap! Yeah, I'm not biking up that. It's like my first trip to uh, Big Willow. I have no idea where I'm at, but this looks like it's a trail, so here we go. I do not know what to expect on this. Jump. Oh my gosh. Actually. Oh! Well, I'm going to be rolling this one. My thing came loose. I don't know. I think this is the good track. my speed going. Maybe I can hit some of these. I think this is the I think this is the good track. Oh yeah. This is the good track. I'm just I'm just scoping it out. <laughs> like I want to hit the jump but I don't. I know I can hit these. It's kind of slow for them. They're like crazy, crazy jumps. Oh, oh, oh snap! Oh, <laughs> this is a sweet trail. I'm slowing down a little bit. I do not know what to expect. Oh, just roll with it. I just came unclipped. <laughs> that is. A mega black diamond. Oh man! I was not ready for that. <laughs> wow. Alright, I'm on my camera phone, which is why it looks different. But that trail only I only went through that much travel on that trail with the thing being full open. And the front, you can see it's right there. So, I didn't even use all my travel on that trail. That's where I came down, right there. Came up here, there's another trail going this way. But I think this is the road that returns and you can do that again. <laughs> I'm gonna do this trail again. But this time I got my saddle lowered. I can't help feeling. I'm not hitting that big one yet, quite yet. Although I'm hitting the little one. Ah, it's almost cool. Yeah, oh my gosh. Yeah, okay. I get it. Oh, I can clear that. I think I can clear that. I'm heavy on the brakes still. But this trail is just rocking. I really want to hit this thing. Yeah, good. I don't, I don't not want to do this rock section, obviously. Uh, reason? Oh boy, here we go! Oh! Snap! Oh, whoa! That threw me so wild. All right, I'm gonna go through this slowly. Uh, yeah, this section uh, is a beast. Uh, oh, man! Woo! That is a freaking sweet trail! I love it! The bike is eating it up! I need to get enough courage to hit some of the bigger stuff though. Oh man! I spent a lot of money on this bike. Totally worth it. Well, I'm gonna head out, folks. I'm thinking about hitting Brownie Lake today too, so... Oh, my heart is just... I cannot exclaim my excitement right now for the new bike as well as the trails here as well as spring oh my gosh i am like riding on air right now but i'm going to calm down and get the hell out of here and hit some other trails somewhere else stay tuned